Neom, what is the line? From the melting of the glaciers to greenhouse gases, the result of human negligence toward nature has now become its most horrific sight because we are obsessed with finite resources that have led to a climate issue that will result in long-term environmental issues that may be irreversible and irreparable. We need to spot alternate resources and efficient sustainable architectural concepts speedily because our buildings give out up to 39% of greenhouse gases and pollutants from their construction and execution to their post-occupancy as this phenomenon of the sustainable architecture dates back to the 1960s and 70s. It's now been given its true diligence in a spotlight. There is a project who has gained the world's eyes. So what is it and how is it aiming to change the world? Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Tech Ventures. Today, we are going to talk about a project which is going to be the most difficult project in the real estate business, the line. Are you ready to know? So without delaying any further, let's get started. But before we do, please make sure you hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any new updates from our channel. The Line is a city of 1 million residents with a length of 170 kilometers that preserves 95% of nature within Neom with zero cars, zero streets, and nil carbon emissions. The Line will comprise two 1,600 feet tall buildings that run parallel to every other and move desert, mountains, and coastal areas. When completed, the $1 trillion building will be foot dragging to 5 million people and its residents are going to be ready to commute end to end in 20 minutes. The buildings will run from the Gulf of Acapa through to the Mountain Resort and a fancy which will house the Saudi government in line with the confidential plans. The line is the first time in 150 years that a serious urban development has been designed around people, not roads. Walkability will define life on the road. All essential daily services like schools, medical clinics, leisure facilities, also as green spaces, are within a five-minute walk. Ultra-high speed transit and autonomous mobility solutions will make travel easier and provide residents the chance to reclaim time to spend on health and well-being. It's expected no journey is longer than 20 minutes. The concept of a linear city isn't a brand new one. It was first thought of in 1882, and plans were floated for analogous concept from Boston to Washington in 1965. The Line Mega Project in Neom, in Saudi Arabia, is the best land challenge undertaken by mankind, says one among the boys, turning the vision of a 170 kilometer long, 500 meter tall city into a reality. Once completed, it will be the most important megastructure in the world, a futuristic mirrored residential and business block that rises over the expanse of desert, pristine emerald waters, rocky inlets, and white beaches of the rugged Tabuk province. Designed to accommodate up to 9 million people, the Neom Project is the centerpiece of the foremost ambitious urban planning project in history. We are building 120 Burj Khalifa's worth of reality within the first phase. Giles Pendleton, executive of development at the Road in Neom, who joined the team in February, said. The structure is the biggest building in the world by a large margin. The Pentagon, home to the U.S. Department of Defense and therefore the world's largest edifice with nearly 30 kilometers of corridors, is small by comparison. Even after 24 years of leading developments in Australia, the Middle East, Africa, and Eastern Europe, Mr. Pendleton has never taken on something the size of the road. He says the visionaries behind the plan, including Saudi Arabia's Prince Mohammed bin Salman, see it as nothing but a reinvention of urban planning. The line is integral to the futuristic new city of Neom, a project Prince Mohammed has identified mutually of the four most important aspects of the Saudi Vision 2030, which aims to diversify the country's oil-dependent economy. But since the project's announcement, many have had questions about the feasibility, the timetable, and exactly what life inside the road will be like. The line will have a mirror facade, created by a team of world-renowned architects and engineers, which is able to allow even its footprint to blend within nature. But this does not come without significant challenges. The project's green and energy efficient credentials are front and center of the complete plan and are especially challenging in a desert where temperatures well above 40 degrees Celsius don't seem to be uncommon. The project head, Mr. Pendleton, says that the city of London and therefore the future city Neom will have the identical population of 9 million, but building in an exceedingly single long line will make a difference. London has 1,600 square kilometers of city, so it's extremely large and detached. 
We are the precise same population size, but we'll have dedicated 99% of the identical land London has as pristine nature. The land is being returned to its original intent. Things like power lines are going to be removed to offer an unencumbered natural landscape as part of the Crown Prince's vision. We are visiting to touch the land as lightly as we can, and the rest we must rehabilitate and make as natural and organic as possible, which incorporates rewilding the environment with animals that have lived here in an indigenous state and planting more trees. A global reach through technological advancements has eased the green building process by helping society collaborate on a mass level, turning sustainable architecture into an easily adaptable concept. An architectural technique that aims to reduce the negative environmental impact of buildings by the employment of efficient building designs with the work of materials, energy, ecosystem, etc. Sustainable architecture is paramount to a conscious approach to energy and ecological conservation within the design of the built environment. The sustainable architecture concept is inclusive of energy efficiency, water and waste management, landscaping, readaptive usage, and several other phenomena. The $500 billion future megacity in an Asian nation is going to be home to a number of the world's tallest buildings because the country pours many billions of dollars into the event of non-oil sectors, Bloomberg reported, citing people aware of the matter. Now we'll discuss the benefits of green architecture, but before we do that, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. As reported by several researchers, environmentally friendly workspaces help workers to perform better while working. With an efficient work method that's smart and functional, sustainable architecture concepts can help design to be cost-efficient additionally. Overall, a green building cost, but a historically built structure. On top of that, green buildings have an ROI that helps in increasing your property value up to a substantial margin. Green building architecture has several health benefits, moreover, as they're built around the site conditions without hampering its natural flora and fauna. This makes the air two to five times cleaner. Sustainable materials in building construction also help in purifying the air, making it a win-win choice to opt for. Green building architecture minimizes waste with its lower environmental impact and use of infinite resources. Waste management may be a core criterion of a green building where sewage treatment plants, irrigation systems, dual flushing systems, are a number of the mandates that ensure less wastage. Using recycled material during construction, reusing and readapting available materials on site are a number of the features that are making sustainability and environmental savers. The initial cost of sustaining architecture techniques in buildings may be slightly beyond the conventionally used methods that have zero or less maintenance and running costs, which accounts for creating a money saver within the long term. According to the report, Neom will have twin skyscrapers measuring about 500 meters that stretch horizontally for dozens of miles. The people who wish to stay anonymous reveal that these buildings are a mixture of residential, retail, and office space running from the sea coast into the desert. They added that the new plan may be a shift from the initial strategy that aimed to make a string of developments linked by underground hyperspeed rail. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please click on the like button and share with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. Hey, we look forward to seeing you in our next one. Have a great day!